Chapter 8 Episode 10 About Yaku Jinmin and Thunder July 15, 1148 Falma, finishing his duties at the university and leaving the grounds, was confused in the face of a large number of armed masked priests pointing their sticks at him. On Elizabeth's orders Falma's exclusive escort of holy knights were also with him, but they all disappeared. Falma was worried that it would be all right if he had not been killed somewhere. A few priests used all their divine power to abolish the divine sealing arts and at the same time they nullified the divine arts of 25 priests through material extinction. If you seal me, the divine arts will not disappear, I understand the feeling of thinking like that. Falma doesn't even have a stick. What do you think should be prioritized, the stability of this world or the destruction of divine arts for a short time? As if to interrupt Falma's words, a huge fork-shaped stick was stabbed into his abdomen from behind. If Falma were in the flesh, it would be fatal, but since physical attacks go through, he doesn't even feel pain. This is. Falma was surprised and touched the tip of the blue stick sticking out of his abdomen to determine the identity of the murder weapon. There is no doubt that it is a secret treasure that seals the evil gods past in the great temple. I have seen the reality. I never thought I would be stabbed by it. This staff is similar to the one Juliana brought to steal divine power from Falma. Since the secret treasure is strictly managed, it is suspected that a priest with considerable authority was involved in this attack. While Falma was speechless, he was tightly bound with shackle chains that sealed the evil god from behind. The chain that seals the evil god acts on spiritual bodies, that is, it can restrain Falma, but because Falma's hidden divine power is too great, it cannot absorb all divine power. What do you want to do? Falma inquired about her purpose while pretending to be restrained. It is unthinkable to try to eradicate the divine arts which are the only way to fight evil spirits from this world. Such an existence must be an evil god. Both Her Majesty Elizabeth and His Highness Solomon were implicated by evil gods. That is the interpretation. This is ridiculous reasoning. In the first place, it is a group called Temple, which is rumored to be full of people with intense faith. While lamenting, Falma thought about what had happened. Without moving while I am tied up, I drown the Holy Spring on all who are there. Realizing that the divine power has disappeared, the blade of the knife of the person who is angry and tried to cut himself is extinguished through material extinction. At the very least, I don't want people to commit suicide in front of me. No matter how I tried to explain it, I didn't want to create a scenario where Falma killed them. God zeal, evil God zeal and physical attacks have no effect on me. Until my head cools down, I will keep the divine arts. I will not report it to the high priest, first and foremost, I am not your enemy. Falma lowered his head, thinking that nothing was reflected in his hateful eyes and he probably would not hear anything he said. I hope it's just a temporary distraction. When things cool down, please join me later. Falma tore the chains that sealed off the evil gods as if they were cutting waste threads through them on the spot and wiped the dusty clothes with his hands. I have a hole in my clothes. The priests left the place in a hurry. However, priests who can no longer use the divine arts cannot return to the temple. In order to prevent evil spirits from entering the temple organization, divine power must be openly confirmed twice a day, morning and evening. If you drown in the holy spring, the divine power will indicate zero. I will find out soon. It is possible to execute the dissidents, but if the desperate priests appear one after another, other groups will come in retaliation or just attack people near Falma. The members of the attackers were different each time, but I could imagine the forces that wanted to stop Falma's speculation floundering one by one. If you tell Elizabeth and Solomon, even if you expect it from their character, there will be no life for traitors. Therefore, Falma never reported this matter. I also feel that Falma's lax response actually escalated the attack. Is this the third attack? The centripetal power of the patron deity and his holiness has weakened and the leadership of the temple organization has become unstoppable. On this day, Falma gathered the priests at the convocation of the Holy Emperor Elizabeth. 
and when he announced that he intended to banish the divine arts from this world, he knew that there would be some resistance from the priests. The inclusion of divine arts is related to the identity of the nobles. It has the implication of giving a mental preparation time, but it can also be said that it was communicated early to stifle those who thought otherwise. However, if my divine power is taken away, I wonder if I will bet on a chance. However, it was unexpected to be alone and surrounded by a large number of priests so often that I felt I was being teased. Will the temple organization be dismantled after it loses its divine arts, or will it continue as a global religious organization even in a state without divine arts such as the earth world? Elizabeth's Decision as the only religion on the continent, it would be difficult to maintain control over the world. The kings of each country enthroned with the support of the temple can also be banished wholesale. Those who attack Falma may be lost in the streets at the moment, but they can earn a living working as a bookstore and make a living by paying pensions. Perhaps, if there is no livelihood security for nobles and priests, this will probably lead to a deterioration of public order. I must propose this system to Elizabeth as soon as possible. Depending on the situation, most of Falma's personal property may be appropriated. However, the preferential treatment of former aristocrats would also create a problem of inequality with commoners. While priests plan to get rid of Falma, Juliana and Liera do not seem to hold a grudge against Falma, but they should not rely on that. When tomorrow's life is no longer guaranteed, it is only natural that rebellion will occur. Falma examined the premises of the Imperial Medical College. Then there is a part other than the station where the blue light response is concentrated. Roof. Falma hid in the shadow of an invisible building, jumped towards his target and landed softly and quietly on the roof. The escort holy knights I was looking for were beaten up and rolled onto the roof in front of the dovecoat. After confirming that there was no fatal injury, Falma cut the rope and saved him. There is no mistake in the selection of the holy knights that Elizabeth personally chose. But the abilities of the armed priest are above that, and there is also a divine art that limits the abilities of the user of the divine arts. If they were attacked by armed priests, even the holy knights would be left alone. I am sorry, Falma Sama. I was called to the roof and attacked by someone and couldn't move. Are you hurt? You're not hurt. Huh, something wrong with Falma Sama. There's nothing. Well, then please excuse me for today. Escorts get hurt more often, so please leave them alone. When Falma let the escorts go home, he was worried when he took the horse out of the stable. Yo! Ellen looked down at Falma from the horse wondering who had called for him. Falma Coon! Are you going home now? Okay, let's go home together. Falma also rides his own horse named Sylvesta. If that horse can be injured, it should no longer be used for commuting. You should fly and move so that you will not be attacked on the way home. It should be said that you do not need an escort. The inconvenience is increasing. Are your stomach and back okay? Although Ellen seemed to hesitate, she hit him directly. I see, did you see it earlier? I showed you something you didn't like. I saw it. I'm fine. Just a hole in my clothes. I wonder if the back will show. If you take off your coat and tie it around your waist, you won't be able to see it. Thanks for your advice. Falma did just that, although he was sad. Even though you did that, I will forgive you. It's not a matter of forgiveness or not, just keep quiet. I'd be happy if Ellen kept quiet, too. Ellen's mouth is pinched but I keep it in the back of my mind. It's okay. But it was a hidden treasure stabbed with a God-sealing divine art, I wasn't it. Why are you in such a situation? Somehow you look like an evil god. It's dented. Hey, but I don't know how you feel. Falma wondered how much Ellen had heard, but hearing her reaction, it seemed she had missed the point. It's true that Falma Kun is strong, his divine power is cut off, and he's immune to any attack, but that's why he's treated as an evil god, isn't it? Ellen is very angry. It would be nice if His Holiness found out and fired me. Falma thinks that it is time for him to be fired, and if he apologizes later, he can restore his divinity. 
Ellen's outbursts of emotion were blinding to Thelma, who was unable to evoke feelings of resentment as much as he could understand the principles of behavior of a priest. Speaking of which, what should I take with me? I don't have an escort today, so I can go with you. Training in the divine arts. It's just a little bit. I understand, but me and Ellen might not be very good training partners. I don't want them to get hurt. Even if Falma doesn't attack, it's possible that Aren will blow himself up. I don't want to go out of my way to hurt you, because I'm the one who will heal you if you get hurt. What the hell, don't underestimate me. Actually, I won't be your opponent. Since Falma became a god, he has avoided interpersonal fights, even if it is a mock fight. When I fought Moline in the New World, I learned that I should not get involved in interpersonal fights. I haven't had many matches with Falma Kun, so once in a while is fine. Hum. Vulevu Dancer. Ellen smiles mischievously. We. Oui. I wanted to decline, but when I asked her to dance, I nodded. After about 30 minutes of riding, we arrived at the Divine Arts training grounds on the lake owned by the Bonifua Mansion. We both tied up our horses and stood facing each other about five yards apart. Oh, you don't need a cane. What's the second most important thing after life? Falma noticed that Ellen had taken off her walking stick and placed it on the bench with her pack. Thinking about this, I remember the day when Falma first took Ellen's private lessons after coming into this world, he scolded me for not having a cane. I wonder how Ellen feels when she lets go of her wand. I'm fine today. Look at me. Ellen has no cane and begins to focus divine power on her fingertips. Divine power blows around her and takes the shape of a large hammer. Great. High-ranking divine water hammer without a stick, without singing. It's amazing in such a short time. Falma was frankly surprised, so he praised her generously. Ellen's concentration was broken by Falma's cheering, and the technique was solved. I finally understand what Falma Kuhn and Pal Kuhn are saying, so I want you to see it. Ellen brushed her hair as if embarrassed. It's done right. It's a divine art to shoot with your bare hands, it's so easy and simple to use. I have it on formal occasions. Both you and I have swung our six hundreds of times every day. The hands that held the canes had blood blisters and were bruised. Polish your canes every day. Aaron liked sticks, didn't he? How many do you have? 324 books. The museum is about to open. The people of this world have used sticks to protect them from evil spirits, and that is why the world exists today. But from now on, I will finish my role. Ellen looked back with a smile as Valmai looked at her, unable to say anything. Before the Divine Arts battle, can you also show me Falma Kun's Divine Arts? Considering the decisive battle with the Grave Guardian, I don't want to use my divine power much anymore. Falma freezes the surface of the lake without prior intervention, while suppressing the divine power consumption and forming a beautiful frost flower on the surface. Ellen runs to the lake while saying Kia. When Falma creates wind, the frost flower disperses in the air and reflects sunlight, creating a fantastic spectacle accompanied by diamond dust. If you run, you slip. Either I was paying attention too slowly or I had already slipped on my butt. Falma also stepped onto the surface of the lake, dipped into the slightly chilled air and was healed for a short time. Midsummer Silver World. It is as if I am dreaming. I've never seen a divine technique like this before. It would be nice to take many pictures of the scenes that divine art creates. And one day you should look back on it as a memory that once existed. This technology, rooted in another world and protecting people from other worlds from evil spirits, will soon disappear. Each of them must have feelings in their hearts but Falma's heart did not hesitate. Melt the ice on the surface of the lake and return it to its original form. Can we have a divine battle soon? Aren, just hit me hard. I won't fight back but I will defend myself and dodge. Falma Kun won't get hurt even if you get hit by divine arts. I won't. You haven't seen me hurt since the day I was struck by lightning three years ago. I haven't had a scratch since that day. I see. Falma's eyes widened, thinking he hadn't noticed. 
yeah, think it's a target and shoot it. Still, the reason it doesn't go into a sandbox state is because it doesn't accept attacks when it comes to divine arts. I see. Ellen puts her cane on the ground, takes off her jacket, changes it into workout clothes, and takes a barehanded stance. To become Ellen's target, Thelma distanced herself from her. For Ellen, there is no more perfect opponent to advance divine arts unilaterally. If you have a match with a user of divine arts, one of them will inevitably get hurt. Although it is fundamental not to hold grudges, they still leave each other the roots of anger. Thalma does not have to worry about this. An invincible patron deity does not get hurt. No damage of any kind. Anytime again. Ellen immediately builds up her divine power. The first attack is a low rank and unleashes a water spear with no staff, no chant, and no time. Both speed and power are greatly improved from before. Thalma stopped the attacking water column without using any divine arts without even trying to dodge it. Magic attacks with water attributes that touched Falma's body turned into steam and disappeared. While Falma was being attacked, Ellen launched a medium-heavy water game without chanting and attacked in waves. Falma gave up on that too and twisted his body to avoid the water drop ball. Looking at the attack going through the ground, the water ball accelerates more than her technique before. Already a high-ranking Divine Art user since our first encounter, Ellen has undoubtedly reached the realm of one of the Empire's foremost masters. A sanguine, motionless Divine Art does not let the opponent read the next move. The technique kicks in faster than Pal. There are not many magic users who can defeat it. Ellen uses the movement of her legs to use her superior water spirit. Falma snapped her finger and destroyed the water giant which attacked as if it had an ego. It's speeding up. It's growing. Starting up, shaping and stabilizing the technique is amazing. Interestingly, Falma felt that way. Pal was not the only one who refined his divine arts. Oren also shows improvement and progress in the divine arts. Ellen does not hold back and unleashes a phantasmagoric attack. By condensing the divine power in your leg and slamming it against the surface of the lake, you can create a step on the surface of the lake. Ellen runs across the lake firing magic from every angle. In the lake battle is attacked as if a sword mountain rises from the bottom of the lake. The ice sword mountain grazes Falma's cheek. If he had lived, he would have died instantly. It's a divine art that I've never seen before, it's really good. It's exciting, isn't it? Water, ice, hot water, steam, all the divine arts with water attribute were shot and this is 16 hits in a row. Falma saw the dynamics of beauty in her unabashedly unleashing phantasmagoric attacks on him. Although the medical comb that is easily inside her body continues to deliver divinity, it exceeds Ellen's daily divinity limit as measured by the divinity meter. Falma had never seen a run in his full power. This is the first opportunity. As if he wants to use up all the divine power Ellen has. Since there is a daily cap on the amount of divine power consumed, it is difficult to consume divine power in a short time without using elixir or forbidden arts. Nevertheless, Ellen's pace of divine power consumption made me think of full power. Ellen, it's almost time for your divine power to reach its daily limit. Finally, my divine power is empty. This is what I have been waiting for. Ellen held both hands in front of her chest and, while paying close attention, created tiny droplets of water. Falma can barely see it, he can barely see it with a magnified view. It looks like magic water, but Falma restrains himself from commenting and observes the situation. Ellen brings divine power into a small drop of water. And then I told Falma, What do you think it is? Don't know. Behind the glasses Falma's gaze met Ellen's cool blue eyes. Falma is drawn to the power that rests in Ellen's eyes. What is it? Falma asked with a serious face. It's something Falma Kuhn taught me, and it's something Falma Kuhn hasn't done yet. Ellen dodges the answer as she riddles with an adorable smile. With her index finger, she shoots what she created onto the surface of the lake. Then, on this spot the water of the lake caused a huge explosion that blew everything up. 
the earth shook birds flew away from the lake shore and the explosion blew down trees. Falma immediately extinguished all the descending lake water with a substance of elimination. If left alone, the surrounding area would flood in five seconds. Falma thought about what had happened. Did you make supercritical water? Nuclear material? No. Antimatter. Antimatter itself is stable, but just one gram of antimatter colliding with matter will destroy it, leaving behind an energy equivalent to that of a nuclear weapon. Maybe Ellen knew, or maybe she did the math. He completely controlled the antimatter creation and managed to keep the energy just enough to balance the seawater. People who handle antimatter must be anti-humans whose entire human body is made of antimatter. Since Eren's body is made of matter, contact with antimatter would be fatal. Falma turned pale when he thought about crossing such a dangerous bridge. I kept the environment in a vacuum because it shouldn't react with water vapor in the air. Did you see it? And he got power. Falma was stunned by the appearance of a completely new concept. Instead of drawing divine power from the veins of mythology, I am pushing empty energy into my veins with my withered and empty body of divine power. Bring the divine power that exists in this world back to the other side of my veins. The power that was sent to the other side will be drawn out of the Yakushin Min again. At that time, anti-divine power will be created and you will be able to create antimatter. Very. Falma was not flattered but overwhelmed by Ellen's great achievement. I have found a power that can be paired with divine power. If the divine power and the magical power can be balanced, then by simply adjusting the balance between the divine power and the anti-divine power, it may be possible to tune the world without losing the divine power and the magical power. Ellen seemed to have run out of divine power and could not get up. Falma did not replenish his divine power, he put his own cloak on Ellen's back and looked up to the sky with Ellen. It's a great idea. I'm glad I listened to Falma Kun's lecture on physics. It's really hard to come up with ideas and experiments and fix antimatter in place at the same time. I can't believe I managed to do that without any damage. Falma is surprised that Ellen doesn't seem to be hurt. Even if you fail just once, you can't avoid instant death. On Earth, antimatter is created by collisions and particle accelerators. Ellen is definitely an expert in divine arts, he said. There's nothing wrong with being told that from time to time. But what made you create antimatter with anti-god power? I got a hint from the fragment of the Yakujin crest that Falma Kuhn gave me. Ellen confides shyly. Two medicine deity crests that were in Falma after being struck by lightning. Ellen received this fragment. Thunder creates a large amount of antimatter and then immediately destroys it. I said that earlier in the lecture, Falma Kuhn, remember? It's the emblem of the Yakujin. It's not the god of thunder. I wonder why the Yakujin is thunder. That's why I felt like I got some kind of clue, and while I was trying different things, I came up with the Yakujin crest. Did you try it? It must have been a coincidence, but Falma could not understand why the Yakujin crest was created by lightning and why the Yakujin crest used the motif of thunder. Because of his personality, I could not put it down without knowing, and I conclude that this was not thunder, but a fractal figure imitating medicinal trees and seaweed. It was recognized by the Melanians as a root. Looking back now, I wonder if this was a clue to something. When Falma quietly infused divine power and helped Ellen up, she was finally able to walk. An anti-divine art that can only be activated when the daily limit is used up. It is an undoubtedly revolutionary idea. Anti-divine arts, Falma Kuhn can do that too, I'm sure of it. I don't have a daily limit. Could it be that in this world, this can only be used by Ellen? But Falma Kuhn has two Yakushin crests, you know. You can use one as an entrance gate and the other as an exit gate. World. Hmm. I'm afraid to even try. Stop practicing on this planet. Even if you do it, it should be done in an empty place, preferably a vacuum. If you're not good at it, the value of a planet can disappear. Maybe you should practice for space. You should try it yourself. The problems have increased. Ellen smiles and says the story has grown.
It's an honor to be one of your life's work, Thelma Kuhn. First, I wanted to open a pharmacy, but that has already come true. Second, medical care in this world has developed, and the number of people dying from diseases that should be saved is decreasing. It's about to happen. Dot. Increasing the average life expectancy of the imperial capital by 10 years has come true. The things I can teach you are limited, I am sure I could light a seed light. The people of this world will take care of the rest. Is there anything else you would like to do? No. I'm sorry for being such a shallow person. Thelma scratched his head apologetically. His younger sister, Chiyu Yukuya, was saved in time and space by Reiwa and seemed happy with Kanji Yukuya. If you can see it at a glance, there will be no more regrets for this world. After that, I will clash with the Grave Guardian and turn the wheel to normalize this world. When divine arts and sorcery disappear from this world, the negative influence on the other world will also disappear. The idea Ellen has just presented could change Falma's strategy. However, Falma believes that the time has come for him to fulfill his mission and die appropriately. I mean, what about your own happiness? I'm happy enough now. I don't understand that answer. Ellen furrows her eyebrows. Do you have many challenges or rather dreams in your life, Ellen? Yes. I want to master pharmacy so that the pharmacy of the other world will last forever, and I will be able to mix medicine even if I become a grandma. Thelma vaguely believes that Ellen will also be tied up with someone good, although he avoids going into detail. Thelma himself is not allowed to interfere in her life. I'd like to say that Pal is a good person and I think he would be a good match, but I won't because we don't see each other at all. I'm looking forward to it. You should have a lot of dreams. At that time, the wind that suddenly blew up from the lake stirred them both very much. Ellen quickly grabbed Falma's hand and hugged him. Ellen. I'm sorry, suddenly. Falma Kuhn, I thought you were going to fly away somewhere. Don't fly away. I'll be here. Today, tomorrow, next year, in three years. But I wouldn't say ten years from now. I don't make promises I can't keep. Both Ellen and I are really enjoying our lives living in the present. Yes. Ellen clings to Falma's hand as if to hide her overflowing tears and entrusts her body to him. Falma was taller than Ellen and now he looks down on him a little. The body grows into an adult but this existence is an imitation. Falma quietly closed his eyes while touching Ellen's body temperature. Eren's technique just had quite an effect. Falma still hasn't recovered from the excitement he had earlier. Ellen hugs him tightly. If you touch it too hard, it will penetrate Falma's body. I touched it gently, as if tracing the contours of existence. Life plan, about to change? That's right. It could happen. I hope Falma Kun's life plan will be good. Their ideas can still keep them grounded. 